step away from the vehicle, please? No, I'm checking the vehicle out, actually. No, I don't. Hey. This is our vehicle. No, this is not. a public vehicle. Yes, it is. What's your name and badge number, sir? Constable Belmonte. Constable Belmonte, 4087. <laughs> These are public vehicles. I'm just having a look at the vehicle. So I ask you to move along. No. Sorry, I'm not moving along. This is a public sidewalk. I'm not engaged in any right illegal there. activity. You stay right there in a court record. But I'm checking your license plate. I'm checking your car. There's nothing wrong. Nobody's doing anything illegal. You can't just run around telling people they got to move along, dude. It's not the way it works. You watch too many movies, I think. Hey guys, this is True North Transparency. We are in Oshawa today. I'm at Simcoe and Simcoe Street South and First Avenue. I saw some police activity up ahead, so I'm gonna go and record. VT 595. You know what's going on? No, I don't. No, eh? Yeah, good. <laughs> I'm gonna record. CTSN 228. Not a supervisor. This is car 17723. See if we can get a. over this lady here. Oh Jesus Christ. This is the woke mobile. The LGBTQ vehicle. So this is CTSN 228. Car number 17723. Right across here. Right there. You guys know what happened? No, I wasn't sure what happened. Yeah, check it out. Look at that uh, guy behind you, they're going off again. Oh, again? Yeah, I think when he goes off, he goes off. Oh, yeah? And, uh, yeah, he's sitting in all the gear, and like, black people are all these boxes off. Oh, really, eh? Oh, yeah, he just hammers them. But I think he calls them, like, that he's in the war or something, right? Oh, yeah. So I think PTSD sort of thing? I think that guy knows me. <laughs> I'm a, I, I'm famous for doing this. <laughs> Car 17, 
Thank you, I was crawling. This here is CJ TP957, the Wolfmobile. How are you guys? Good. You? Good. Good. Yeah. What happened? Anything we you can, can really anything you can that. say? No, we can't really disclose that. Sorry, it's a police investigation. Cool. Thanks. You guys have a good one. You too. Can you step away from the vehicle, please. No, I'm checking the vehicle out. Actually. No, I don't. Okay. This is our vehicle. No, this is not. a public vehicle. Yes, it is. What's your name and badge number, sir? Constable Belmonte. Constable Belmonte. Four zero eight seven. Not These sure. are public vehicles. I'm just having a look at the vehicle. So I see you move along. No, sorry, I'm not moving along. This is a public sidewalk. I'm not engaged in any right illegal there. activity. You stay right there in a court record. But I'm you checking your stay. license plate. I'm checking your car. There's nothing wrong. Nobody's doing anything illegal. You can't just run around telling people they got to move along, dude. It's not the way it works. You watch too many movies, I think. CRZB912. And I checked out all the other cars, dude. Nobody else had an issue with it. So, how are you? Good. Ellis, just just so I can tell the group I'm with Bateman 4043, Ellis 3905. Yeah. Huh? Who are you with? Myself. Are you live streaming? No. No, I don't really like the shit videos. Quality goes down. 720p. Yeah. I got 1080 on this thing. Yeah, I know. I was just checking the car out. And you're quick with them gloves, bro. <laughs> Not everything requires gloves and beating people up, dude. I was just checking your car out. You guys should keep your computer screens closed, so I did get a couple of pictures of the other ones, so. Okay. But there's nothing. See, I'm not doing nothing illegal. I'm just checking this out. I'm going to check this car out next, too, so. So what we got here is BZMA767. This is the unmarked party car. Uh, are you How are you guys doing? Good, you? Pretty good, thanks. 17713. BZMA767. Exciting night? Always. <laughs> So you, uh, you've been on the force a long time. Sorry about that. What was your name again? Constable Belmonte. Why do you guys always hide your name tags? I know a lot of Durham cops. Not you, but uh, a lot of them do. I, you know what? The sergeants all put five or six pens right in front of their name tag. So what are you? Uh, you got to realize that somebody with a camera is not really a threat, eh? These aren't illegal. I'm not saying that I say, I, at no point did I say you're a threat. We have a police investigation ongoing right now. Yeah. So, right is there now, somebody in the car? You can't disclose that. Well, oh, right? I can so, see. Yeah, let's take a look. But you can't no. video him. So that person can't private. Oh, I can't video. Oh, he doesn't have to. 
He doesn't have to. Ongoing police investigations. But nobody has to consent to being videoed. And what you got to realize is that a camera yeah, but what, is not we, a... We were in the middle of an investigation. That's fine. And I wasn't bothered. You know what? The only thing that came up was him telling me to get away from a car that yeah. is actually the taxpayer's vehicle. Yeah. And I can look at these things. I mentioned the exact and, same thing he mentioned. And you know what? I can go out in the street and film everybody. No, I'm not. I'm not instructing an investigation. You actually chose to spoke to me. I just wanted to clear things up and let you know that a camera is not a threat. It's not an obstruction. It's not illegal to film the police. I know you guys don't have body cameras or dash cams in Oshawa, which is why I do what I do. I document what you guys do because for some reason, the Oshawa police, one of the most busiest police stations in the Durham region, has no body cameras. And I hate it. I hate that fact. You Pickering's got body and dash. Whippy's got body. Uh, very, some of their cars have that. all the data with the cameras. And oh yeah, no, I understand why, but you know what? I do think it's kind of fishy that the busiest police station getting, doesn't have. No, there's no conspiracy. You no, I know. Fish for a conspiracy. Oh, I'm not fishing for it, but you know, I want you guys to have them, and that's why I do film. Well, uh, we're going to be implementing them soon. That's 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 awesome. I'm glad it's, they are. It's supposed to be the fall, but they told us that last month. Pardon? It's supposed to be the fall. Oh really? Yeah. But they said the last year. Yeah. yeah. But due to the amount of data with the they, yeah, like it's overloading the workforce, and we don't have enough civilians to review them. Yeah, okay, it, it's above my pay grade to know all those decisions. So just just so you know, obstructing you guys would be me be yelling threats or something, trying to stop you from doing your job. That is the, no, the not necessarily. Yeah, you know what? It's, being within pro proximity. Of well, an investigation you could be obstructed just by being within proximity. Yeah, you can of ask, course. but you know what? There's nothing. You you know as well as I do. I'm not doing anything that's right obstructing. Now you're fine. Yeah. yeah, and even then, I was just checking out the numbers of all the cars. I got all the numbers, all the license plate. Yeah, that's fine. But yeah. If we have a person in custody in a car, then I can film. Them. You know what? I get that during the day. Uh, I can film them. There is no, uh, there's no privacy um, for a person in a public, in public vehicles. Yeah, yeah. Well. So that's, that's that's where the issue arises. But you guys have tinted windows, and it's night. You know, I can't see in there. So. We don't know that. What? We don't know that. I don't know how big your camera is on there. Oh, dude, it's a phone. <laughs> It's an old iPhone 11. It won't go through the window. Huh? I'm not that tech savvy. I don't know. Yeah. So it's precautionary. It's not. You guys, uh, you haven't seen much cameras, I would imagine, and people walking around with cameras. All that happens probably more than you think. Well, I hope so. Yeah. I love it. It's uh, transparency. You know, it's uh, it's an amazing thing. Yeah, we're fine with that. It's I know. Yeah. Everybody's oh yeah, absolutely. And I, I try not to get in your guys' way. I just, I was really amazed at how fast you jumped with your gloves and, and told me to get the fuck away from your I car. Excuse me, the language. Just asked you, you just asked me, and you whipped out your gloves exactly and you put them on in a flash. Exactly what my partner explained, right? Huh? Yeah. All right. Yeah. Well, we don't it was know, a little bit I of said a I reaction. I have no issues my friend. with you recording from afar, but when you come up, when we have an investigation, you're obstructing our investigation. But again, I'm on a public sidewalk. And that's all you had to say is, man, just step back a few feet. Not just checking out the car. Not get away from the car, right? That's a, uh, it's a little bit different. How you doing? Good. Good. Connolly? Yes. Four zero seven zero. What are you a supervisor? I am not. No, eh? I am not. <laughs> just checking. Oh, you know what? Uh, you never know. I don't know how to tell. How do you tell? So where's the? What you guys get stripes or? What? So what's the difference with a supervisor? You guys all have a flag on there, right? Chevrons. Oh, they'll have chevrons with the flag? Or is uh, the yeah, flags replaced the with flag. the chevrons? The flag's just because we work in Canada. Yeah. Yeah, the chevrons though. But they do, they, the flag stays and then they put chevrons above it? Yeah. So they get what, three for a sergeant? Two. Yeah. Two? Yeah, huh. two. Very right dumb. Is this a little bar on the corner? Not the one where they're... It's a rooming. Oh, okay, okay. I was wondering, it looks due on to others or whatever it's called? Yeah. Okay. Sorry about the camera work, guys. My camera, I put it on tilt lock and then it uh, it ended up, it ended up fucking everything up. Nothing too crazy happened? No, can't say. How are you doing? So we're gonna hang out with these guys for a little while longer. It's 
pretty easy to diffuse them. So again, we're at Simcoe and Mill. I know where the fuck we are. My, my friend used to live just right down here. <laughs> so do on to other. I think that's a rooming house. It's a alcohol and drug free zone. So that's where, it's probably like a halfway house or a rooming house of some description. And uh, that's where the issue was. As far as I can tell, they were putting all the lights back on the windows and the curtains were down. Um, as far as I know, I don't really know what happened. So one thing about Canada, man, they, these cops just never tell you shit. <laughs> oh, they're releasing. It's a catch and release, eh? Released with an undertaking, I would imagine. I'm oh, sorry, I just kicked my camera. I shouldn't have walked across the street. Hard to tell which side of the street to stand on when there's so many cars. Well, whatever it is, I'll bet you it wasn't the first time it's happened. They seem to have a rapport with these dudes. Northern Tokes. It's quite the presence, man. Is there a fourth car back there? There is, too. I put his computer back. <laughs> anyway, just make sure you're staying back from it so it doesn't get to that camera or that computer. Thanks. You, actually, you guys are supposed to hide those computers. <laughs> if it's visible from public, you shouldn't you shouldn't have it like that. Sorry, I'll just maybe don't. Hey, man. Uh, we're just going to be really sweet down here. So. Yeah. I'm just back here. Yeah, that's fine. I just won't get any closer because we just don't know how he is going to be. Oh, yeah. He wasn't the most cooperative when he was initially arrested. Okay. So. I'm not going to antagonize or nothing. So. Yeah, that's fine. What was your name again? Ellis. Ellis, right on. Yeah. I grew up in Lindsay, so... I, Did you? Yeah. Right on. Yeah, you know what? I, um, I didn't. I, I, I moved up there, uh, oh, fuck, 28 years ago. And then I, then from then I've, I've been to the Yukon. I've been everywhere. Like living up in the Yukon. Oh yeah, I've lived up there for almost ten years. How's that? <laughs> I'm still nervous being in cities. You know, I can beat pissed at cops. You could hate them or whatever, but I don't think that's the right way to go about doing what I'm doing. I'm trying to. I'm trying to show how they work and I'm not trying to egg them on to be, you don't actually have to, you saw like that one guy, I can't remember his name, so I'm a guy terrible with names, but that one guy that jumped for his gloves and, uh, and immediately turned into an a-hole uh, over me being near the car, which isn't illegal. It's, um, you know, guys like that, you can talk to them, right? Oh, so they're in the parking lot over here. So 
So guys, I'm just gonna keep doing things the way I do them. I don't agree with being a jackass to them unless they hand it out first. I'm not gonna get pushed around and I'm not gonna be a complete prick to these dudes. So, I don't know. I think it's just a lot of it has to do with the longevity of my channel. If you're out there causing shit with the police, they're gonna find a reason to lock you up. So what I'm trying to do, I'm trying to hold them accountable and I'm gonna do this for a long ass time. And if they do give me a hard time, fuck it, I'll give them a hard time back. But I'm not gonna go out of my way to give them a hard time if they're just being polite, like that one fellow, that young guy. But anyways, I think they're just hanging out over there. This is True North Transparency. I'm at my truck. Um, <laughs> I'm just gonna go drive around some more. See what we can't find you. See you guys.